My name is Andy Atkinson. I started farming here in 1992. In about 2000, I pressed my first apple and made some wonderful apple juice and managed to sell that and decided that a year after I'd make some cider. I suppose over the years I've never really driven the business forward. It's been the product that's been in demand, keeping those full unique flavours in the cider that you won't find in a more industrialised product. And people can tell that when they, when they buy our products and taste them. You usually get the, mm, the taste of apples comment, which you know, makes me smile. <laughs> The apples we very quickly press. The first thing we do is we, we actually wash the apple. So we move the apples into our pressing area with a, a river of water. The next thing, it, it's given a final wash before it goes into the mill, it minces up the apple into a pomace, and then press the juice out of them. That pure juice is then very quickly either put into a bottle and pasteurized as pure apple juice, or we then ferment it in, into cider. We use uh, wild yeasts and we use dried yeasts to maintain and create a good, clean, apple flavour. Uh, we also make sure we balance the different types of apples. Uh, we make sure we've got a good blend of all of them to, to, to give ourselves a good base cider of which we can make various products from. The apple itself, when you bite into it, it is crunchy, it's crispy, it's juicy. When you take a drink of apple juice, it's more intense. The, the, the flavors are intensified. And so I think that's, that's really what it is about it. It's the intensity of the flavor. 